How's it going, you outlaw legends? I am Red Nitrate, and welcome to my Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay walkthrough part 49. So on the last episode, it was a mixture of very sad and very awesome. Unfortunately, uh, we found out the cause of Arthur's recent uh, coughing and uh, sickly appearance uh, as he collapsed in Saint Denis as we approached our the last mission and um, got taken to a doctor by a kind stranger and we found out that he's got tuberculosis. So that's pretty damn gut-wrenching. But the awesome part was, is once we got to the mission, we got to fly around in a hot air balloon. I kid you not, folks, it was insane. Gave us a completely different perspective on the game. So yeah, definitely go and check that episode out if you haven't already. It was a lot of fun. Um, as for today, um, I thought like we'd have a quick little tour around the new campsite. Not that there's really that much to see. Uh, most of it's kind of just like kind of what you see here, like abandoned shacks, that kind of thing. Um, but I always like to do a little tour of uh, when we get to a new gang camp location. So I figure we may as well do the same here. What's going on, Pearson? Good to see you again. What do we do now? Clearly we need to move. I'll speak to Dutch. Why are you walking away from me when I'm talking to you, Pearson? It's very rude. It's a pretty nice little location. It's over here in Lakai, Lakai, sort of bayou area. And we only just recently got back here, so I thought we could greet a couple of the people. Well, Susan hasn't got too much to say. But these are the living quarters. Nothing, <laughs> nothing too fancy. It's where Arthur's sleeping down there. We've got a very depressed and drunken looking carrot. Good to see you again, Karen. Where's Molly, by the way? Nobody's seen her in ages. Good riddance, I say. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. So Dutch's missus has taken off, apparently. <sighs> it's good to see you again, despite the circumstances. You too. But what do we do now? We need to move. As soon as possible. We've got a couple of days. Tilly, what's going on? Reunion, huh? Well, at least you're alive. So what now? We got a couple of days to work that out. Yep, yep, yep. So Arthur, understandably, is pretty keen to get out of here, which I do understand, given that the Pinkertons are are hot on our tail at the moment. Definitely, definitely desperate times that we've we've gotten ourselves into. Apparently, Reverend Swanson is cleaning up his act. That's that's what I've heard. No more, no more drugs. No more drink. What's going on, Rev? Reverend, it's good to see you again. You too. But this is a mess. A real mess. Still smoking the pipe, uh, though. No. Alright, leave you to it, man. Enjoy the nice views. And we got Pearson again. All right, so, I mean, that gives you a bit of an idea of where we're staying at the moment. Now, as for the mission that we'll be doing, it's uh, one for Dutch, and it's called That's Murphy Country. So I'm assuming that's going to have something to do with the Murphy Brood, a gang that we've come across once or twice before. Um, yeah, definitely curious to see what that's all about. So, yeah, that's the... Um, that's the Lakay gang camp. You know, pretty simple, but ah, oh, I don't know. It's always pretty cool when we when we get to a new area, get to stay in a new place. I dig it. I'm assuming these are sort of Dutch's quarters, much fancier than where we're living. So <laughs> yeah, I, I I think that'd be a fair assessment. Dutch is usually living large compared to the rest of the gang since he's the leader. Um. But yeah, we'll go and see what he wants. He's been getting us into nothing but trouble recently, so I'm a little bit apprehensive. Dutchy, 
D4. Black to F5. White to G3. Knight to you, F6. You're playing chess against yourself in, in your mind, Black Dutch? You, did you need some help, buddy? Um, we're all a little bit worried about you. <laughs> Losing, losing a few of your marbles, I feel. Alright, well, we better interrupt him before he completely spins off the planet. You okay there? <laughs> I don't think he is, no. Once and for all, Arthur. Whatever it is. We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move. What game, man? Yes, We've lost like six people so far. The chest, and maybe life yeah. Ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? You sound like Jose. Well, Jose is dead, bro. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. Told you we shouldn't have done that bank you job. We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They. Chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we do this country. In Roanoke Ridge, past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. You need to I stay the hell away from Micah. Why, sir, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Stay the heck away from Micah, bro. Like, how can you not see what he's been getting us into? It's because he kisses your ass 24-7. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like we're going to go and scout a new gang camp location. So it's probably good that I showed uh, this spot off to you now. Because uh, it looks like we're not sticking around here for too long. It looks like uh, we're going to be heading out with our boy Charles. So, um, yeah. See what this is all Charles. about. Be right with me. Always. Always. That's Charles the homie man. Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. Yeah. They can be some nasty, nasty bastards. Yeah, bro. Let's go. We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah, I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. Yeah. They're uh, a little bit macabre, Murphy Brood. I won't, won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't had the chance of seeing yet, well, but... Yeah. We need to get this done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure, man. Let's take the canoe. Yeah, boat's probably a good idea. Don't get to do that very often. Why not? Got some good company good for to once. See you again, Charles. You too. Thanks. For what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. Oh, yeah. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. 
Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. <laughs> where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, well, not exactly. Of course. An island off of there called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island. <laughs> Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I yeah. guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Yeah, it wasn't quite the Tahiti that he he promised us. <laughs> Left a little bit to be desired. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things out in the past. Oh, come on. I know. Hey, you're right. Just it's been. I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know. Of course. And yeah, now the only voice of reason we've got, or well, the Dutch is listening to anyway, um, is bloody old Micah. He's going on how he doesn't want traitors. <laughs> Literally, the only person that he's trusting anymore is the biggest traitor amongst us. Um, yeah, I really don't know where Dutch is head at. There's the bridge. Where, where his head's at at the moment, it's, um, yeah, he's, he's a bit of a worry. Well, I see one anyway, and that'll do. Come on. Man, he's just happy that Charles is all good, like the way he sort of sacrificed himself to save us during that escape. I thought we might never get to see him again, so pretty damn happy that that he's all good. I would not not have been impressed if we lost Charles as well as Hosea and Lenny. I mean, and John got locked up. It's no good either. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians, and I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. Oh yeah. They're animals. We don't Everyone want to get our heads staked onto a Great. onto a stick. That's yeah. We're definitely That's gonna to want to be careful. This. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Just be ready. It won't be pretty. Nah. They come with a with a pretty nasty reputation, as I was saying before. Known for killing their victims and displaying them, their corpses, in very gruesome ways. So everyone at everyone watching, do prepare yourselves for that. <laughs> it's gonna get a little bit gnarly. It's gorgeous though. I'm glad we decided to take the canoe. And some beautiful scenery. Beautiful cutscenes. Oh, Charles is the homie man. Anytime we ask him to ride with us, he doesn't even ask any questions. He's just, yep, yeah, let's do it. Absolute legend. A lot of respect for Charles. Your creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. <laughs> True that. All right, let's walk it from here. You got it, mate. What's going on, player? Good evening. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? You'll get away if you know what's good for you. Come on, they're not gonna help All right. us. Pretty sure Relax, bro beans. Up the road here. Can you help us? We're trying to find a spot called Beaver Hollow. We don't take kindly to outsiders around here. Yeah, I can tell that. 
You're all being very rude. Been nothing but polite to you. I don't appreciate that, sir. These Murphy Hills, stranger. Might watch where you wander. Yeah, well, that's actually who we're trying to find, man. Don't you worry about us. We came prepared. Arthur and Charles, absolute wrecking ball of the team. You grab those horses if you want. I probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Yep. All right. We'll take the horses. Come on. See why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. Yeah, they remind me of the night folk, and that's definitely the sort of thing that night folk do. They sort of watch from a distance and then attack you when you least suspect it. So definitely pay to you be on our ahead. toes, I reckon. Slow down. Keep it quiet. It could be some of them. All right, all right. Following your lead, Charlie boy. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me. Right. Stay quiet. Sneaky, sneaky. Go away, damn raccoon. I'm trying to be sneaky. <laughs> Let's get closer to him. String him up, baby. Show these Murphys who's boss. We've got a couple of them up here. Not too big of a threat just yet. Definitely Murphys. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Alright. Um, so, I guess we go to Tom the Good job. Nice. Bit of Tomahawk action. One of my favorite weapons, that. <laughs> Kills are always so satisfying. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Okay. You definitely got the jump on him. Let's Haven't see seen us coming. On. That's the stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about, ladies he and gents. Nasty bastards. Alright. Be doing the world a favor taking right them out. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Um. Oh, look. I guess we'll try the sneak approach. In there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. All right. So we got to go that sneaky, sneaky approach then. Far from a stealth master, but I will do my best. Watch, you deal with that one in the end. Uh, no. yes. Quietly. Uh, 
It's one down. Oh god, that is horrendous. Jesus, it's horrific nightmare fuel right here. Good go, 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 go. Oh, I thought that gave us away for sure, but no, we good, we good. I don't like the screaming. It's not making me particularly comfortable. Oh god, there's a whole bunch of them, huh? Oh lord. Yeah, no, nah, not feeling that, fam. <laughs> All come charging at me with machetes and stuff. Dear god. Oh god, that... Are you right, Charles? You good, bud? Alright. Where, where are the rest of them at? Go on, boys. We got a party. Ooh. Not for now. Come on. Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Yep, I'm with that, man. <laughs> Stay away from me. Are you good, you're good. You just killed all of your captors. It's okay, miss. Uh, Please don't kill me. Just calm down. Uh, let's get you out of there. Imagine being bloody kept captive by those complete and utter lunatics. I don't think you'd ever be the same again. Okay. I can only imagine the torture that she's been through. God Let's damn. Go. Where are you from? Andersburg. We do her. <laughs> Take her there and I'll go get the others. You get her the hell out of this cave. Anything beyond that is, is an improvement, yes. I feel. You okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Oh, what? Yeah, she got the crazy eyes, all right. Don't really blame her, though. Everything she must have been through. Oh, she's glitching around. Yes. They... They... Um, it's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. In quite a gruesome just fashion, I would imagine. Try to breathe. That Animals. guy that was just stabbing the hell out of that person, that was God. fairly traumatic, wasn't it? It's all right, miss. We got ya, we got ya. Don't you what? worry. Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> no, you poor I thing. Know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. <laughs> Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Honestly, I was just, I'm just glad she's not, like, secretly with them. I kind of kept waiting for her to, like, stab me or something. <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. 
Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah, I'll have you there in a yeah. jiffy. Just enjoy the fresh air and the, you know, no longer having to put up with the with the smell of rotting flesh and dried blood. <laughs> oh god. I really sort of uh, fail to think of anyone I'd rather be caught by less than bloody Murphy's. I mean, even the night folk. I mean, the night folk kind of creep me out more, but they don't do those horrendous things with the bodies. And oh, I mean, they kill people in the same sort of manner. They all have like melee weapons and stuff. Charge at you like you know twenty deep. Watch out, yet. Bugger, what are you doing? Move. Got a damsel in distress here, all right? Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. So I'd have a shower and sleep for like Your three days, sucks. you poor Up thing. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy brood guys. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Um... Oh, no, it's all right. We're, we're doing fine. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. Yeah, just getting her away from... Those complete degenerates is, is payment enough. This is oh god, turning leave tricks again. You just leave me alone. <laughs> oh, that do work out so Thanks, well for him, buddy. huh? Yeah, old Mrs. Downs prostituting herself out after after her husband died. It's um a bit traumatic. They keep revisiting that throughout the game. They don't let us forget that <laughs> we had a hand in her ending up that way. A little bit messed up. How you get on? Okay. And your gang camps. A little bit bloody. It's a little bit messed oh, up, but. <laughs> Can I find anything? Maybe. It'll do. I think maybe I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch! Did you miss me? Oh, God. Him. Molly's Look back. And back. in glorious fashion. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back you and you. drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my... Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't his stooges. Calm you. Ooh, she's in a hell of a state. I don't know you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. What? I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. You They're what? Like I've God's ear. You told who? Surely what? not. Mr. Milton. No. Mr. About the bank robbery. I don't, I don't believe know. that. You did what? Why? Why? You, you goddamn bastard! Go on, shoot She's me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you I don't know if she did. Me. What? She lost her mind, Dutch. Arthur? I wouldn't trust a word that comes out of her mouth. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You... <gasps> what? Oh, my Lord. Miss Grimsaw. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, Mr. wow. Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work. That's ruthless. Get back to work. Yeah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> no one arguing with you, Miss Grimshaw. Back to work. Yes, yes. God almighty. Chapter 6, Beaver Hollow. Oh, if that wasn't an exciting start to chapter 6, I don't know what is, but... 
Yeah, see, that's the, the buck, uh, well, deer in the, yeah, well, buck uh, that I was talking about in the last episode in these sort of transitionary scenes. Arthur saw one shortly after he was diagnosed with tuberculosis, roaming the streets of saint -Denis. Seemed to be intrinsically linked, the buck and Arthur. Damn, he's looking sick, man. Stop <coughs> coughing, Arthur. It makes me feel bad in my soul. Well, new gang camp, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Oh, God. Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, wow. I don't really know how to feel about that. Um, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but I like that as a response. Perhaps. <laughs> I don't really know. Like, Molly had been losing her mind for a serious minute. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, I, I guess I don't blame Miss Grimshaw or the gang for reacting like that, um, given what she was saying, but She's like, I mean, you can't even say she's got, you know, a screw loose. You think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? Yes, is the answer. I'm not sure I even care. Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. Micah. Well. You and I are from Micah, Bill. He says a whole yeah, well, why are you listening to Micah anyway, man? He's been with us for like three months. I've been here for like 20 years. Like, you think you'd trust my word over his? But yeah, anyway, what I was saying about Molly is like, I mean, you can't even say that she's got, you know, a screw loose, you know, because I don't, I don't think she's got one screw properly fastened, you know, these last few months. She completely lost her head and I don't know, it's... I just don't know if I believe that she was the one that ratted us out. I guess she was gone for a while, but I just don't believe that she'd do that. Yeah, time will tell, I guess. Well, that was a wild, wild episode, my YouTube family. We got a new gang camp, which um, we'll explore in a bit more detail next time. And uh, yeah, we've lost yet another gang member. I guess we'll go listen to to this quickly. And we are safe now. Are we though, Dutch? You just your wife just got killed, or girlfriend or whatever. Listen to me. You have got to keep faith. You've got to. Now I know. I know. You know what, Dutch? Jose. I surely do. I miss every man and every woman who fell. I do. And I would die in their place gladly if I could. And yet you never do. Always send us out. <laughs> Cannon fodder at this point. Not while I have you by my side. Yeah. We. We get some money and we can still. Go to Tahiti, eat some mangoes. You don't even know anymore, they do you, mate? Catch me. They won't catch me. And I promise. Whosoever stands by my side, they won't catch you neither. Right, just like uh, just like John, how he's locked up they in won't. prison. Uh, how how does that work into your little? They won't catch you, spiel. I think uh, I think that's only looking out for number one at this point. 
He usually talks a good game, but even he's starting to slip a little bit. He's not sounding so convincing. Uh, yeah, a uh, lot of people dead. Now Molly dead. Um, definitely bleak times here in the Vandalin camp. But if you did enjoy this episode, please slap a like down below. And if you're new around here, you enjoy Red Dead content, please also consider subscribing as well. All of those things really do help out the channel a lot. And yeah, until next time, folks, I'm Red Nitrate. Stay legendary, everyone. Bye now.